Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you how to make vanilla cake in an air fryer. I'm using this Instant Vortex Plus air fryer. I've already reviewed it on my other channel, Best Kitchen Reviews. If you want to see that, I'll put a link right below this video. This is an 8-inch metal cake pan, and that's what fits in my air fryer. An 8-inch pan should fit inside most 6-quart air fryers. If your air fryer fits a smaller pan, it's still okay to use this recipe. The height of this pan is 3 inches. You should be able to use a 2-inch pan also. I had used the same pan to make a chocolate cake in this air fryer. If you want that recipe, the link is in the description section. I'm going to brush some soft butter all over the inside of the pan on the bottom and the sides. You can substitute oil. The pan is nicely greased all over. For the cake to come out easier, use parchment paper. These are 8 inch rounds that you can buy already cut. They're just very easy and convenient. If you don't bake that much, you can just buy a roll of parchment paper and cut it yourself. Instead of using parchment, you can just butter the pan and sprinkle flour all over and on the sides and tap the excess out. That will also help in getting the cake out. We'll set the pan aside and I'll show you all the ingredients. I will list all of the ingredients and measurements right below. Generally, I use a buttermilk substitute for my cakes. It's just milk and either vinegar or lemon juice combined. You just let that sit for a few minutes. It'll curdle a little bit after a few minutes and have the same effect in a cake as buttermilk. This is half a cup of whole milk and I'm adding one tablespoon of white vinegar. Set this aside and then measure out the other ingredients. This is one cup of all-purpose flour and I'm going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch. That'll make the cake a little softer, like using cake flour. If you have cake flour, use one cup plus two tablespoons. And if you don't have any cornstarch, just use one cup plus two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Your cake will still turn out soft. Just mix this together. I like to add my baking soda and baking powder using a sieve. So in case there are any lumps in your baking powder, it'll get sifted through and not end up as lumps in your cake. It's just very unpleasant to bite into. Baking powder, three quarters of a teaspoon. Baking soda, half a teaspoon. And salt, quarter teaspoon. Give that a mix. Two large eggs, vegetable oil or canola oil, three ounces. Two thirds of a cup of white sugar. We'll also need vanilla extract, one teaspoon. You can see that the milk has already curdled and it's barely been a few minutes. Sometimes it's hard to find buttermilk at the store, so this is the quickest and easiest substitute. Get a big bowl and add the eggs. Whisk that well. Add the oil. Milk. Vanilla extract. Sugar. And our flour mixture. Do it little by little so everything doesn't get stuck in the whisk and you don't have to switch to a wooden spoon. Mix until smooth. You don't have to over mix it as long as there are no big lumps. Pour the batter into your prepared pan. Now we'll preheat the air fryer. Bake. It's already at 325 Fahrenheit. Press temp time once more for the time. And I'll set it to 30 minutes. Hit start. Preheating will be displayed. Most air fryers take about a minute or two to preheat. Then you can put your food in. That took just a minute. Take the basket out. Put the cake pan in here. Put the pan in very carefully as the basket is hot. Use oven mitts. I know I didn't because they're a little 
chunky. And it's hard to get the tin in there with my big oven mitts. I was extra careful not to burn myself. I like this Instant Vortex Plus a lot because it is a good size and there is a light. So you can see what's going on inside. No light, light on. 30 minutes are up. Toothpick came out clean and it's done. Some air fryers cook a lot faster than others, so I would set the time to 28 minutes. Check it at 28 and then put it for two or three more minutes depending on how the batter looks in the middle. To get the cake out, definitely use oven mitts. Leave the cake on a wire rack to cool and then we'll turn it out. You can see that the edges have come away from the sides of the pan. That's another indication that the cake is done. When the cake is cool, run an offset spatula around the side to loosen it. Put a cake board or a tray over it and flip the cake over. It comes out very easily. Peel off the parchment paper and put it on your serving plate. If you want to make the cake even, just slice off the dome with a serrated knife. I'll cut a slice. If you want to know how to make anything else in an air fryer, leave it in the comment section below and I'll try to make a video. The cake is very soft. It's very tasty and you saw how easy it was to make. You don't even need to break out your mixer. Just a bowl and whisk is enough. Make this in your air fryer and let me know how you like it. Subscribe and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.